Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? USB thumb drives are a great little tool for getting files from one computer to another. While cloud-based storage makes these devices a bit irrelevant, it's still nice to have these lying around to quickly move a file from one device to another or to create those OS disk images for installation on PCs. I think you'll agree, but my biggest frustration is the speed. Let's face it, they are slow. But over the last several years, I've noticed higher speed devices on online stores that resemble traditional USB thumb drives, but have a lot more speed. And that's what we're going to look at today. It's a face-off between a traditional USB thumb drive and against several faster solutions, including a $40 variant, the Vansuni Portable SSD, you're gonna love this, model number U52 Gray 256G. This is what's next. USB thumb drives. We have a ton of them. I'm sure you have several in your drawer. They're a great tool to use with computers, but there's one tiny problem. They aren't very fast, but anymore you can find faster thumb drives. And that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at this one from Van Suni. It's a portable SSD thumb drive. And we're going to compare it with a name brand from OWC or MaxSales.com, along with another Van Suni drive. And we're going to compare it with a standard 64 gigabyte USB three micro center drive. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to see is the cost difference between these worth it? Let's find out. All right. Well, when I bought this, it was around $32. It looks like it's around 40 right now. This is 256 gigabytes. Uh, you can see on the front, we have high speed and it's reliable. It's slim. Um, there's the size. It is type C. All right, let's go ahead and get this open. All right, and here we go. One of the nice things is this is metal. Uh, not too dissimilar to the other Vansuni drive that I have. And as well as the Envoy Pro Mini from OWC. This has both a USB-A connection and the USB-C connection. Pretty hefty. Seems like well-built quality on that. It is USB 3.2 Gen 2 and claims up to 1,000 megabytes a second. We're gonna try that out. That's the Vansuni drive for around 40 bucks. Uh, just to look at this one real quick. This was a little bit more. This is around $80. Again, you have the USB-C connection right here. And then there's your A and 250 gigabytes on that. And this one is claiming, where was it at? Yep, 946 megabytes a second. As you can see, compared to a standard thumb drive, yeah, they're a little bit bigger. But again, part of the problem with these is that they're slow. So these should be a little bit faster. This is kind of a weird one and claims about 400 megabytes a second. It's only USB-A, they still sell it. It's around $18. Uh, I like this one as well. I actually install operating systems on this. My open core legacy patcher videos, if you've watched that, this drive has made its presence known in those as I install the Mac operating system on here and then boot up off of this to install it speeds up the install process much faster than using a standard USB drive. So, all right, well, that's enough talking about these drives here. Let's go ahead and test these out. We're gonna go start with the slowest item, and that is this Micro Center USB 3.0, 64 gig model. And because the MacBook only has USB-C, and if you don't have these, these adapters are awesome. Plug in your 
USB on that, and then you have your USB-C connection like so. All right, so we have that plugged in, and we're going to select the untitled. I'm going to select that, and let's see what our read and write is. So if you're wanting to know what the app is that I'm using, this is the Amorphous Disk Mark. There's our first test of the Micro Center USB 3 64 gig. These are the stats. We have 147 read and 15 write. Let's see how long it takes to back up a 17 gigabyte file. So it's about 16.71 gigabytes. We're gonna drag the file over. We're gonna get it there in three, two, one. Drop it. I'm gonna copy, it says about five minutes. We have my timer going down here. So let's see how long it takes. Okay, we're coming up to the end here. And boom, a little bit slow on the draw there, but roughly five minutes and 50 seconds. We're going to move on to the other Vansuni uh, USB 3.1. There we go. It is now plugged in switched to the this is it says install to mac os sequoia so there is some stuff on here but shouldn't affect the outcome of our testing and we are done you can see that significantly faster read and write speeds when compared to the micro center usb thumb drive that's cool all right let's check out the copy and let's see if it takes as long at five minutes and 50 seconds. There you go. Two minutes, five seconds. That is the difference between a five to six dollar device compared to a $17 device. Well, let's crank it up a notch and we're going to use the OWC Envoy Pro Mini. As we again uh, stated earlier, there's a USB A connection. I believe that's a 3.0, could be a 3.1. Uh, and then you have your USB-C connection. This little rubberized thing, sometimes it's hard to take that off, but um, we'll get this plugged in, which should be better right here. We're going to wait for the drive to show up. There it is. Let's go ahead, choose the drive, and we'll check back in a few moments to see what our results are. While we're still working on that, I did realize that this is USB 3.2 Gen 2 at 10 gigabits a second. And there are our results. We now have something It's even faster, about double the speed of our Vansui 128 gigabyte drive. 637.6 on the read and 564.2 on the write. 10 megabits a second is what we are supposed to get in that interface. Based on the drive, it says up to 946 megabytes a second. We're not anywhere near that, but significant increase over this, almost double or a little less than double, uh, but a heck of a lot faster than this. All right, last but not least, and I have not used this. We just opened this out of the box, right? So it's this other van, SUNY. With this one, we just open that up and plug in drive there. Oh, wait a minute, we forgot one thing. I forgot to do the copy, let's do the copy. I realized I can make my life a lot easier if I just copy and then paste the item in and we're gonna go ahead and start. This is going to take far less time. So I clocked 26.5 seconds. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna do the Vansuni. We're gonna allow access. There it is, 256 gigs. We're going to switch over to that drive and select it. And we got a winner. 930 on the read and 735 on the right. $40, $78. And then you compare that to a $17 drive from the same manufacturer, Vansuni, to a $6 thumb drive. Come on. If you need something fast, I'm gonna say that this is gonna be the one to beat. Now let's do that 16 gigabyte copy, 17 gigabyte, whatever, uh, and see how fast that is. About halfway done. So 
So I saw about 29. I know it says 31 there, but I was a little slow at copying that or uh, stopping the uh, stopwatch, but about 29 seconds on that. So I'm going to try this again because I can't believe that I was getting faster results with the Van Suni. Um, but yet this one beat it out in the copy by roughly three, four seconds. I'm going to reset the stopwatch here. We're going to paste and start. So 26 seconds. Uh, it's a little faster, but on par with this. $78, $80 for this or $40 for that. So there's the Van Suni drive. It is definitely warm, uh, which again is probably the reason why they're using the metal casing or housing. And also that might play into the fact of why that first copy was a little slower. I bet if this thing cooled down, it'd probably be a little bit quicker. The two winners as far as speeds are concerned would be these two drives, uh, the one from OWC and the one from Van Suni. All right, well, that's my look at the Van Suni. Let's send it back to the studio for my final thoughts. Okay, these are the devices I've been looking for. And as I stated in the video, the slower Van Suni 128 gigabyte for around $17, $18, I've already used with my OpenCore Legacy Patro Mac OS upgrade videos. But this new one for $40 is very impressive, especially when compared to the 250 gigabyte OWC SSD thumb drive. With its all metal build construction and the two versions of USB connections as part of the device, this is definitely going to be a very useful for my future projects. The biggest unknown for me is longevity. How will it hold up? And at one point, will the speed and storage of this device last, right? I mean, that's the key thing. I do like how the outer shell is used to dissipate the heat from the SSD chips, but even then it does seem to affect speed over long periods of use. If you are in need of a faster SSD based thumb drive for transferring large files from one computer to another, I think you'll be very pleased with this solution. If you're on a budget, the less expensive Van Suni drive would also be a good choice. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you liked this content, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up and share this episode with others. To be notified when I post new content, click subscribe and that bell notification icon. I'm not sure why I just did the thumb up. In the meantime, feel free to watch one of my other videos either here or here. And until next time, I'll see you again for another episode of Hey, What's Next?